good morning and welcome to my class again uh, today we are going to start reading c the name of the lesson is ashok rotor's football oscar and that is the uh, name of the title and this is reading c which is from unit second now we are going to learn words meaning in context or uh, as uh, you know it's very important to know the meaning of the word in the context so that it may be easy for us to understand the context so the first word is logo logo means symbol or sign the first word we have and that is logo which means symbol or sign number second is jersey number second is jerseys which means uniforms and number third is egging egging means to encourage somebody to do something once again i'm repeating number third that is egging which means to encourage somebody to do something number four is yelling yelling meaning shouting number four is yelling which means shouting number five sprawl number five is sprawl which means spread disorderly so number five sprawl means spread disorderly number six is housekeeper which means one who is employed to perform household work number six is housekeeper which means one who is employed to perform household work and number seven is regretted number seven is regretted which means felt sorry meaning is felt sorry and number eight is mentor number eight is mentor which means master mentor meaning master and number nine is urge number nine is urge which means strong desire once again urge meaning strong desire number 11 ironically number 11 is ironically which means strongly ironically meaning strongly and number 11 donor number 11 is donor which means one who donates number 11 donor means one who donates so total here we have 11 words meaning and i want you to learn these words meaning because it's very important to know the words meaning so that you may understand the context unit 2 sports reading c ashok rathore's football oscar it's early morning on a Sunday and an excited group of boys play football in the back garden, a large ground in Kolaba, South Mumbai. Both teams are wearing colourful jerseys printed with logos that say, Oscar, education with a kick. At 23, Ashok Rathor, short and curly head, is the oldest of the players. Unlike the others, he is also yelling instructions on how to kick or pass and egging the others on. Ashok isn't just playing for his team, nor is he the fastest or the most skillful footballer here. Yet, the boys in both teams follow his lead and take directions from him. Today's first goal scorer is Anil Chauhan, tall and well built. He is from nearby Ambedkar Nagar, a sprawling slum colony of about 12,000 people. Anil had, like many poor urban kids, dropped out after a few years of primary schooling. Years later, when he started working as a housekeeper in a bank, he realized his mistake. I didn't know how to read or write and couldn't even sign my name, says Anil, who enrolled at a night school last year because of Ashok Rathore, his neighbour, who plays football with him thrice a week. It doesn't matter that I am only in class 5 and 22 years old, says Anil. Many of the other players too went back to school because of Ashok who started these football sessions five years ago. When Ashok was a child, his father Shankar Rathod, a fisherman, regretted that his daughter and older son had dropped out of school. At one point, 
Ashok too wanted to quit, but his father insisted that he continued, much against the neighborhood norm. Ashok talks of how little value his peers and many of their parents placed on education. I saw boys regularly drop out of our municipal school, recalls Ashok. Some left during a morning interval and never returned. As for the girls, a good many don't attend school anyway. The dropped out boys used to hang out at the nearby Sassoon Docks, Mumbai's biggest fish market. They would steal or pick up fish that had fallen from baskets to sell and make easy money. And whenever or however they brought in some cash, Ashok explains, the parents considered it clever. Worse, Ashok watched many of those boys squander these ill-gotten profits on drink, cigarettes and gambling. In 2006, after finishing high school, Ashok got a job with Magic Bus, a Mumbai NGO, which sent him to the city's poorer areas to mentor children. That's how he realized that team sports, particularly football, forged friendships and called for discipline. It also had overall a positive effect in the children's lives. Why not do the same for the boys in my neighborhood? Ashok thought. He offered to teach football to a few boys he knew. In exchange, he told them to promise not to miss classes. On a Sunday in October 2006, he got a ball and invited the kids to play. Eighteen boys turned up. Ashok called his group OSCAR or the Organization for Social Change, Awareness and Responsibility. Ashok, who learnt about football at Magic Bus, began teaching them the intricacies of the game. In between, he would also slip in stories about his childhood friends who had dropped out of school. If you want a future, you have got to study. He urged over and over again when they met to play on weekends. Stay in school. I don't want you to end up like them. Meanwhile, Ashok was nervous about telling his family about Oscar and his football sessions. What? If his father objected, since he was doing his higher secondary and working as well, Shankar Rathor would expect his son to spend his weekends catching up on school work. Ironically, on the same days when Ashok was telling younger boys to study, there were other problems as well. Even if a boy wanted to return to school, it was often difficult convincing parents, he says. In many cases, I had to go over and persuade them, often taking others with me. But once, after a few football players failed their final exams, their parents blamed Ashok. Football had become a distraction, they complained, as if nobody in their slum had failed before. Some of the parents gathered outside my home and shouted abuse, he says. It was scary. That's when Ashok's father came to know about it at all. He warned his son to be careful, but the incident only made Ashok more determined. He enlisted the help of two NGOs to have those boys tutored for free in English, Hindi and mathematics. These NGOs also helped Ashok get more kids back in school. Besides a few supportive NGOs, Oscar gets individual donors to sponsor his footballers who are now part of eight teams in all age groups of the Mumbai Football League. Every child on an Oscar team has to abide by one rule. They have to attend school regularly and stay there. And Oscar doesn't want just great football players, says Ashok. We want good human beings. Today, five years after that first game, about 150 boys from Ambedkar Nagar and two neighboring slum communities are part of the Oscar Foundation's football program. Thrice a week, for two exciting hours, 
two coaches train these youngsters trend dropouts including anil have so far returned to school and it is hard to figure out how many are staying on because of ashok and the power of football in 2009 ashok won a cnn ibn real hero award and with it a cash prize after taxes of 3.45 lakh that's when my parents realized i was doing something worthwhile ashok smiles my father said he was proud of me ashok invested some of the money in a fixed deposit for oscar foundation and registered it as a trust he also bought a computer for the kids purchased more football equipment and rented a tiny room in which some of the children receive extra tuitions happy with the way things are going ashok has lately been shifting his focus on girls as well offering to teach them football having seen my boys parents are actually sending their girls to play over the past few months 20 girls between the ages of 10 and 16 have been learning the game through oscar and nearly all of them now attend the school regularly slowly but surely a change is taking place inspired by ashok a few more football and school group modeled on oscar and have sprung up in ambedkar nagar and its two neighboring slums ashok rathore is scoring higher goals you know you have to write these words meaning three times and you also have homework so uh, before uh, i give you the homework you know i just want you to read the lesson very well once twice as many time as you read that lesson that will help you understand the lesson when uh, very well and when, when you read it yourself the lesson then when you watch the video it will be very easy to understand the lesson so just uh, learn the words meaning and then uh, also you have the homework which are new words new words you will have to find out you have to write the verbs and degree opposite noun and synonyms these are the things you will have to write as homework and you have also to learn the words meaning so keep in mind that you have to learn the words meaning and also you have to do the homework thank you